Talon Schultz. I'm crew leader, and we're here with Bryn Binger. Yep. So, Bryn, what do you think goat tying is? Well, actually, we're going to be we're here to talk about goat tying. Bryn, what do you think it is? Meaning that you've never heard of it. Probably where you tie goats. Well, that's pretty accurate. How in depth? How how do you think you do it in depth? In terms that I never heard of it before, or yeah, like, okay. <laughs> I would just say like you tie a goat to something or something. <laughs> I've seen it before, but well, it's kind of it's similar. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you think you would enjoy it if you no. were ever in it? No. no. That's kind of surprising. No. Okay. Mm -mm. <laughs> um. What do you think the main thing of goat like what how many people do you think are in goat tying out of like what like your this division or something or like inside high the junior division I don't know how many people are in the junior division it, well it depends, probably quite a few. but there's probably like 43 goat tires oh thanks, thanks crew 43 <laughs> <laughs> how many do you think are in the senior division mm. 60 Sixty? No, I, I have no idea. Probably quite a few. How many? How many people do you think just straight up are in goat tying? In goat tying total in between junior and seniors? Yeah. It, well, depending on the rodeo, but I'd say anywhere from eighty to one hundred and twenty. I, I would say too many to count. <laughs> I have no idea. So you guys, um, you know, <laughs> know what you're talking about. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Who's here to talk about it? <laughs> Hey, crew, you should tell them about um, your fail of oh, goat tying. Oh, gosh. Okay, so this summer, I guess, I was goat tying. I was having some problems with my horse, and let's just say he got going too fast. My feet were too far out. I went rolling under him and hurt my wrist. Yeah, you should, uh -oh. you should tell them, like, how, how to goat tie. Okay, so in goat tying, you're supposed to, like, get your horse... Not necessary. <laughs> yes, it is. You're supposed to get your horse moving and, like, well, running no, up <laughs> through the pen, and then... Um, the goat's pretty much tied down to a stake, so it can't yeah, run away. Yeah, it's on a stake and a rope, and, like, somewhat towards the middle of the arena. You get off your... You basically jump off your horse that's running, and then you run up to it. You act like you're going to squat, and you... Flick your wrist with, well, Flick grabbing on to the flank of the goat and the first leg and just flip and sit on it for the most part and then gather the feet and tie it. Okay, so for the people that don't know, what is the flank of a, of a goat? A flank is the excess skin of the goat by its back end. I don't I know see. what it is, so <laughs> I have no idea what it is, but... We brought right in here to see, like... Just kind of see how what she thought about goat tying. So you're still set on, you don't think you'd like it if you did it? No, I would not like rodeo. I'm not a rodeo person. What, what would you rather do? Than rodeo? Yeah. Like, sport-wise, or like... Just anything. Anything. I'd rather do a lot of things. Name three. Three? I'd rather read. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's one. That's a typical woman thing. How would you do that? <laughs> what are you laughing for? Probably okay. rather read or like do volleyball or basketball. That would be two. And then, so read sports and what's your other one? 
Just sit at home. I like to be at home. I don't like to be at, like, at the... I don't like to be at a lot of places like in a week. Would you like in, would you include a rodeo as a sport? Like yeah. Okay. Okay. What do you think your favorite rodeo event would be? Do you know? I've been to a rodeo. I would probably say when they're when people are like riding around in a horse or something in a circle so or barrel you know racing? what? Barrel no, racing? that's the beginning. Well, I, I, that's like I, queening, but like actual event. I don't know. Like, okay, so there's barrel racing, pole bending, goat tying, flag racing, flag race, roping, team roping. Do you like? Roping. Is there people who are on like on horses and like shoot guns at something? No. Like I've, heard, I've heard. Well, yeah, but there's because like, my hair person who does my hair does that. That's not. I don't think that's one that you typically see at a rodeo. But yeah, I'm meaning like at people a, actually do that though. Yeah, I'd rather see that though. <laughs> Yeah, but then True. you got a bigger chance of getting shot. It'd be more fun. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Just trying to find out what all the buttons are. Okay. As you can tell, Tyler enjoys pressing all the buttons. Yes, yes, very much. Which are not necessary. <laughs> very necessary. <laughs> very much so. That is unnecessary, Cruz. Not that. Okay, is that all you guys asked me about? Yeah. Um, there's one more thing we want to ask. More than <laughs> one, just because. Okay. So, if you were to do one thing, and you've never tried it before, would you try rodeo? Yeah, if I wasn't scared to ride a horse. <laughs> you're scared to ride a horse? I don't like, like, when you're on it, I feel like you're going to fall back because they're moving. I've been on a horse a couple of times, but... What if you had, like, a barrier to make it so you wouldn't be able to fall off? So you know I you like wouldn't it. fall. I like it. How about if you're, like, confident on riding a horse and wouldn't think you're falling off, so... Do you think I like you would do rodeo? Depends what I'm doing. It depends what I'm doing. I'd rather shoot guns at something, you know, like be riding on a horse or whatever. So you'd rather be riding on a horse and shooting guns? <laughs> yes, <laughs> if, I, if I'm good at shooting guns. <laughs> Let's skip kind of back on top it. Would you do goat tying? No. Why? <laughs> You've probably said this multiple times. I, pro I would not like it, and I don't know. Ma it don't might make me feel bad if I sit on a goat. I don't know. It you might be weird. I don't well, know. You're not actually kind of sitting on a goat. You have your... One. I know you're just holding it down, but you like have, you have your one knee basically kind of like on its butt, and then your other knee like on its shoulder blade. Well, no, don't worry. I, Chris said her favorite part of goat tying was jumping off the horse and then getting pooped on by the goat. <laughs> <laughs> jumping off the horse she would be that. cool. Or I would I rather well, be like a. Well, that's how Prue got hurt. Is because when she jumped off, she messed it up and then tripped on the ground. Yep. Rolled under her horse and. I. Would actually, yeah, I would be like one those stunt people like on horses. Do you wish you would go to more rodeos or no? No, I've only been to one. My brother went to PBR, but I wish I was able to go there. <laughs> so, Talon, a question for you. What? If you were to not do bull riding and you had to do something else besides for any bucking pins, would you go tie? No. Would you rope? Yes. Team roping, breakaway, tie down, or tie down? Probably team roping. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Something to do with rodeo. You don't have to explain it to me, but <laughs> just pointing out there. We'll bring you in for the next one, too. So thank you, Bryn, for being here, and that's all for today. Thanks for having me, guys. have you unload the night before and like there's people who like, come from Texas and stuff and they load they load them up and they so when they get there they put them in the back pens mm -hmm. and they sit there for a while they feed them and stuff but they 
it's it's not a really hard deal. They once they get once they get them like out of the chutes and stuff, they uh, load them back up. They usually want you to get them out of there fast as you can, so that you don't have to sit around there. Yeah. But we don't load up till the end of the event because it's there's usually enough space. All right. But you would think between the saddle bronc and the bear bro- the bareback riding and the amount of horses that w- they would have to have, they'd probably have to have quite a few pens. They try to get them out. The barebacks, they try to get them out of there and push back to like the main holding event. Like at the NFR, they try to get them pushed back to the holding area. Yeah, but you think as soon as they're done, then you wouldn't have as much stuff going on. Okay, so back on top of here, here guys. Um, so for goat time, would you ever do it again? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm. I really wanted to. Maybe I just. It wasn't the favorite. Like there's not a lot of people that did it. It's just you just gotta. You just kind of gotta do it. You just gotta. When do you it. do it, because somebody has to be there to do it, or else they'd quit the event, and then there'd be nothing in there. Yeah. All right. I have another question for you. What horse would you use? Would you use a tall horse, a short horse, or a fast horse? I prefer like a faster horse, but also like a smaller, faster horse. And like I've been looking at one, and this guy wants like ten thousand for him, and he's really good with kids. Like I set my little brother on him one day, and I walked away and. And I come back and picked up his feet and worked with him, and he just sat there and didn't do anything. And then I think I walked off for five minutes, and he stood right there. That's not bad. That's a nice horse. Yeah. All right. Um, how would you explain go tang to some people? That um, try to get the fastest time. Get out as fast as you can. How many feet do you want to tie when you tie a goat? Three. Okay. I'm, I've only watched one guy miss the foot, and he ended up just ending up tying the back feet. They didn't count it. So he missed it's, the front foot? It slipped out right at the end, and that was, like, I think was the bad part for him. Yeah. Have you ever seen any fails? Um, I watched a guy get dumped on his head. <laughs> well, Craig, you should tell him about your fail. We already said that, though. Not to Johnny. All right. Well, this summer I was, um, I was go tying. When I got off my horse, my feet were too far out, so I went, and I got off. I went falling forward, and then I started rolling, and I rolled under my horse. Couldn't finish my. You run. get stepped on. Yeah, my wrist. Ouch. Did not break. It that that's one thing. You, like I've never been worried about getting stepped on. I mean, I got stepped on this summer by a bull, and I was like, yeah, it hurts, and it started cramping up right away. And yeah. I was trying to stretch it, and I just they kept on keep walking around. And I took, I think I took like five ibuprofens on it. And I okay. Just, it was really well right. together. And then pin it down. And then pin it, yeah. How many feet? Four. Oh, I'm just kidding. No, 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 two. Two feet. Three. No, three. My bad. Three, three. feet, okay. And you don't <laughs> pin it down after you gather the legs. You pin it and then gather. No crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you guys were to choose one rodeo event, what would it be? I would probably do, uh... <laughs> Either, like, barrels or poles, I'm not sure. I would do bull riding. <laughs> I, I would, oh, yeah, but I don't really want to die. That's just too bad. Why don't you want to <laughs> die? Because, like, I have family. Look at Johnny. He's still alive. <laughs> but, he, but, like, if he goes to the NFR, he's going to die in front of, he could die, like. How do you him. know that? If he's a good one, he won't. Yeah, yeah, I know that, but, like. 
if he does. Don't do that. I will do it. Okay, so, um, if there's one thing of rodeo that you would do besides for what you already said, what would it be? What would I David would first? probably do... Uh, do you call it, like, steer tying or something? <laughs> there's, oh, oh yeah. Uh, steer wrestling. Yeah. I would do steer wrestling. Me, Me too. Where I would jump off and... Is that where you tie the steers together? No. no. So you just tackle them, right? Yeah. You just yeah. have to. Yeah, you yeah. have to. Yeah, yeah, I would do that one. You have to get up next to the steer and then like what on you your jump horse. off your horse. What's the yeah. one where you like rope? Rope. Team roping. Yeah, but then you have to jump off and like tackle it. Oh, um, Cap. that's tie down. Tie, tie down. down. Yeah. So you like get on your horse and then you run. It's break away and then go tying mixed together, but with a cow. You're go tying. Yeah. That's what I think that I'd do that. So let's get back on track with goat tying. Okay. And um, so first, if you were to explain to anybody what goat tying is, what do, how would you explain it? <laughs> if I were to, I would tell them just you have to get on your horse. They let you out of the chute, and then you you run, you go run towards the calf, you jump off, and then. The calf is the goat. The goat, the goat, the goat. That's what I meant. Common and, sense. And then you jump off, get it, flip it over on its back, and then tie its three feet together. Okay, what about David? I think that goat tying, if I had to tell someone, someone else, I would say that you ride a horse, jump off it, you tackle it to the ground, tie its three legs together, and boom, you're good. Yep. Wow. Do you try to get a long, uh, long time or a short time? You try getting a short time. Short if you got a long time, you out of here. <laughs> yeah, when you're watching NFR, it's really, the, I love. And I bull like, riding, I you like have watching to them, get guys. eight seconds. And that's good. If you do that, you're a good guy. <laughs> or girl. Again, hey, Talon, you psych. Have what? you ever rode it, ro- ridden a bull for eight seconds? No. Alan's only time riding his steer was he got whipped off. He told me. <laughs> okay, well, so again, we're doing goat tying here. Oh yeah, I told you that. I'm so scared. if you had to do goat tying, would you do goat tying? If I had to, like, what do you mean? Like, if you had to, like, there's nothing, no other event in rodeo. Would you? I just wouldn't do rodeo. If you had to do rodeo. If I had to? Yes, yeah. I would, probably. Because it'd be, I can get my tackling in. Yes. Would, you enjoy, would you enjoy goat tying? No. Would I enjoy it? Yes, I mean, <laughs> I mean, kind of. I don't know. I think I would. I am I mean, I, I like riding a horses, but I don't. A horse? I don't like, I like to tackle things, but I don't know if I'd be good at it. It's not that hard. Well, what if it? What if it is? Have you did ro- um, goat tying? Yeah, I was kind of close to making it in state. I got sixth. Oh, so, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. How long have you been doing goat tying, crew? Three, four years. And I've done it never. <laughs> I haven't either. Does it count? Never. Tackle my brother and putting no. his legs together. I mean, no. if he's a goat, well, yeah, but no. All right, well, thank you for joining us. You betcha. Well, we'll see you next time. Yep.